Dakni is in fact much older than Urdu. I learned recently it was the first language to be called Hindi. Dakini is very vast. You know, you go to Aurangabad, mm -hmm. it is a different type of Dakini. In Hyderabad, it's different. You know, see, mostly in Bollywood, mm -hmm. what was promoted was uh, Hyderabadi Dakini. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I would like to say, uh, Mahmood Sahib in Kumarabab spoke mostly Bangalorean Dakini. Mm -hmm. Ozer Abdul Alim is a Bangalore based actor, writer, and producer who has captured our attention with his remarkable debut film, Mehr Mahmood. The short film addresses the issue of language barriers faced by immigrants and has garnered attention at national and international film festivals. But Ozey's ambitions go beyond the silver screen. He envisions a vibrant future for regional dialects and cultures in Bangalore film industry, particularly through the lens of Deccani Urdu. Today, we are delighted to have him here to discuss his journey, his passion for preserving and promoting Deccani Urdu and his aspirations for a Bengaluru Deccani Urdu film industry. The Deccani Urdu uh, dialect, it's been uh, caricatured in mainstream media and it's made fun of. And uh, most of the people who actually speak it shy away in public uh, spaces. Mm -hmm. So why do you think it is and uh, what do you think we can do to bring a change on it? Uh, see. I don't know if it's been made, uh, made into a caricature or something like that, but uh, I feel Dakini itself is a quite a, it's got a lot of flavors, the language, mm -hmm. and humor is the most uh, prominent uh, flavor of that, of this language, of this uh, dialect or language or whatever you say. And uh, mostly in Hindi movies, if you see, it was used if you see any dialect in the back in the 60s or 70s and those days they used to all be uh, you know the the dialects other than the mainstream ones would be you know uh, of a funny type hmm, yeah. uh, you see if even if a Punjabi is there it would be a funny character mm -hmm. if it's a Parsi you know Gujarati speaking mm -hmm. would be a funny character and Dakini was Mahmood Saab and he was the one who uh, mostly you know, promoted Dakini, I would say, in films. And he, his forte was humor. Yeah. He was a comedian. And, uh, of course, he would use it in humor. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think uh, that is where it got stuck, you know. But uh, if people are uh, shying away from speaking in Dakini, Dakini, I'll tell you, it actually, it is a language rather than a dialect. Dakini is, in fact, much older than Urdu. Okay. Much older than Urdu. It was there, it was born during the Deccan Sultanate time or maybe even before that. You know, there has been literatures in Dakini. And uh, Dakini was the language the f I, which I learned recently was the first language to be called Hindi. Okay. Not this Hindi. This Hindi which we currently speak in Hindi movies. Mm -hmm. It's come post-British era. But this language, Dakini, was called Hindi way back. Um, you know, during the time of uh, um, uh, Aurangzeb, before that also, uh, the consultant time. Mm. And uh, Hyderabadi, the thing is that, you know, outside uh, our Deccan area, when you go to Bombay, you go to uh, um, Delhi or anywhere, they think Dakini, first of all, they don't know what is Dakini. Mm. But when they say, okay, Hyderabadi, they think. Yeah. Hyderabadi is just one part of Dakini. Every region in Deccan, I mean, I mean you know, every mm. city has got its own way of uh, you know speaking this language or this dialect and uh, Dakini is very vast you know you go to Aurangabad mm -hmm. it is a different type of Dakini in uh, Hyderabad it's different in uh, Bangalore it's different in Mangalore it's different you go to Hubli Dharwad it's different you go to Gulbarga side it's different uh, you know it's uh, different in Andhra mm -hmm. it's different in Tamil Nadu so these are different types of Dakini and then uh, you know even the Bombaya language Apun uh, Bolrela and all that it's uh, heavily borrowed from Dakini a lot of things of Dakini in that so you had worked on a series called Bajao and uh, the, it was in the Dakini language what were the changes uh, challenges you had faced being a part of I still uh, I'm working on it and uh, the first challenge was uh, the COVID thing happened mm -hmm. and then I had to go to Dubai and then the another thing is unfortunately two of my cast members died and we lost two of them, you know, and it was a very sad thing for us. 
and uh, and after that uh, i wanted to revive it but you know to revive that now uh, we want to make it with you know we don't want to make it like uh, like any uh, you know we don't want to do a mediocre job of it <laughs> we want to make it in a very professional way and you know which is going to cost a lot of money you know and taking professional actors mm -hmm. good actors and that's why uh, we need financing for that investment for that unfortunately we don't get much investors mm -hmm. and we go talk up north if i say dakni nobody would you know uh, even uh, bother about it but uh, sadly so even in the people over here they don't you know i'm not getting a good response from them uh, if uh, i would actually like to urge people that you know please come and support us you know make this happen because we want to promote this language this is our bangalorean dakini this is our language we should be feel proud about it and uh, we should tell the whole world our story you know why do we have to take uh, you know uh, a very uh, uh, kya bolte ho se a very uh, cautious approach towards it because this is not some foreign Something language for embraced on you yeah. absolutely absolutely why should we feel shy about yes. our own language so as it seen uh, the dakini language in hyderabad uh, the film industry in that is very much thriving but it's not the same here in bangalore you know see uh, mostly in bollywood uh, mm. what was promoted was uh, hyderabadi dakini mm. but at the same time i would like to say uh, mahmood saab in kuwara bab spoke mostly bangalorean dakini mm. because it is it was shot in bangalore yeah. even in janta hawaldar most of it was bangalorean dakini you know so there were films where you spoke in mm. bangalorean Bangalore. dakini but they uh, the outsiders you know from outside the region they wouldn't know the difference they say oh hyderabadi you know so but then hyderabad is um, has been that language has been uh, popular as hyderabadi so hyderabad industry was like i think they had some films like angrez and uh, a couple of films like that and they did really good but as of now i don't see much content coming from hyderabad i do i don't see any uh, thing coming from there and uh, most of the stuff what i see is on youtube Mm -hmm. and the humor in that is okay <laughs> and i have watched to be honest i didn't find it much funny you know mm -hmm. trust me this bajao what we have worked upon and this done properly it will you will not you know you'll not feel bored for even a second people will laugh throughout and that's the whole point so it's more about the quality content that has to be come up to hold absolutely, on yeah. absolutely okay. absolutely and you see i've written an anthology uh, um, stories i mean sc mm -hmm. a script for an anthology series of uh, terror tales like terror you know tales. it's a little uh, you know tales about fear you know it's not necessarily horror mm -hmm. uh, it could be anything so everything to do with fear mm -hmm. so in that one of the stories is based in chikmagalur and it is totally in dakini one of that okay. so one of the stories is in dakini so it doesn't have to be humor also mm -hmm. we can have action we can have thriller we in can have genre. drama we can have in any genres mm -hmm. what are your visions to build uh, something on dakini film industry in bangalore Absolutely. what are you looking forward to what would be the strategies that you would try to stick on to make it happen see we have a very amazing dakini population mm -hmm. in india and i brought to so we have you know deccan region starts from mumbai mm -hmm. okay all the way till kanyakumari right yeah. so whoever speaks hindi in between that is called dakini yeah, hindi the... urdu right so we have a huge population here and uh, we have a huge population who are uh, diaspora mm -hmm. you know abroad so we have a very good target audience right when we are making movies in of course in languages like bhojpuri or tulu yeah. language we have films in tulu amazing films in tulu and uh, we why not dakini we have the population is much bigger so i think uh, uh, first of all it it's, it's not a, a thing like you know you don't have takers for it we have a lot right another one is that people have to take it up seriously you know it's not that okay chalo char dost mile kuch banaye और फिर चलो भूल जाओ उसके बारे नो दैट्स नॉट फिल्म इंडस्ट्री फिल्म फिल्म बिजनेस इज वेरी सीरियस मेकिंग फिल्म इज सीरियस इट्स नॉट अ जोक राइट ऑल दो वी मे मेक कॉमेडी स्क्रिप्ट बट वी डोंट मेक अ जोक आउट ऑफ इट सो दैट इज वन थिंग 
and uh, another thing is about dakhni i feel like you know you should start with humor i feel because that is what would connect people and then after that once you are there and then make thriller make uh, drama make uh, you know all these kind of uh, different stuff. genres yeah. yeah genres so uh, you told us about terror tales you wrote an anthology then uh, the web series you were working on bajao what other upcoming uh, things are you planning to like is there any project that you are like looking forward to be a part of for your working yeah definitely see there are so many tales to be told over here from bangalore there are many uh, people over here whose lives could be inspiration for stories it could be in terms of political thrillers it could be you know crime stories you know uh, fiction of course mm -hmm. or it could be biographical and it could be in, in anything but we need people to come together support us give us that support mm -hmm. i'm sure there are many other filmmakers out there who want to make films in dakini in this language let's get together let's build a you know let's build an industry over here everything starts from somewhere yeah. so we got to start from here got it so uh, as an artist as an actor uh, what would be your message or uh, anything that you would want to tell to the people who are working on regional languages uh, honestly speaking um every actor every artist has his her own perception mm -hmm. to what they um, in you know what life is yeah. and uh, um, some some maybe you know would want to give some message or some may mm -hmm. just you know it's a hand to mouth for people for some and it's uh, it's something that you know i myself i would want my films to give a good message to people it should have some social message otherwise there's no point in you know mm -hmm. just uh, making money out of something yeah, yeah. you know give people something to take home and mai mahmood had a very strong yes. message and bajao has you know uh, many mm -hmm. messages in it and uh, even the tales of terror would have messages in it and even the uh, uh, you know even if i make something fantasy or science fiction it should have some kind of message you know and uh, i believe in uh, um, with due respect for people who are making their films now mm -hmm. i would uh, want to make films which are something with everyone can sit and watch together okay the whole family mm -hmm. that is how you know i would you perceive it yeah. yes exactly that's what i would like to give yeah yeah and uh, because uh, i know that when i was there i would sit with my family and something disturbing comes i can't sit with my mother or on my father or my brother sister somebody like that you know but there are times when like you know see a film like padosan everybody can sit and watch right yes. or bombay to go or things like that or even andaz apna apna andaz so we want to make films like that there's a comedy but even in films like amitabh bachchan's old films you watch or dilip kumar's everyone can sit and watch and that's exactly the kind of uh, you know entertainment that we want to provide got it and that's through black book media mm -hmm. our company which is uh, formed in dubai in uae okay. and now we want to start black book <coughs> media in india too you know nice. Okay. and uh, we look for people to come together support us collaborate with us inshallah inshallah it was great uh, speaking to you sir uh, looking forward uh, for your next works thank you thank you thank you for your time sir. my pleasure yeah. take care